Uh, one of the big issues I've been talking a lot about in my velocity classes, especially, um, obviously with my pitchers that they come in on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but ex ex especially in my velocity class, where I get to spend time going through some of the dynamic stretching routine that we go through, uh, through some of the core strengthening, leg strengthening, leg stability kind of stuff that I do throughout the course of class, um, I keep trying to stress to them the importance of understanding and having a routine. Your body wants to have a routine. Your brain is set to be wired to have routines. And, and typically, a lot of times, we call that muscle memory. Uh, but really, it's your brain having a routine of being able to send signals, having things happen in a certain way that allow us to feel comfortable, relaxed um, in, a, in, a, in a position. I, and I always refer to this kind of as the, the school wake-up wake up alarm. So during the summer, kids typically sleep in a little bit. Once that first week of school sets in and that alarm goes off at 6.30 in the morning or whatever time that alarm goes off, that first week is really rough because your body is not used to that routine of getting up at that time, so it's really tough to kind of get up. As you work into that second week of school, what you're typically going to find is if I set that alarm for 6.30, um, I'm typically going to wake up somewhere around like 6.25, 6.28. I'm going to look at the clock and go, oh, I woke up a little bit before my alarm. And the reason why that is is your brain gets used to a sleep routine the amount of hours you sleep as well. So if I fall asleep at a certain time and I sleep for eight hours a night, I'm typically going to want to start waking up at that time. If I work through a routine of allowing myself to lay in bed longer in the summer, I can stretch that routine out to a nine-hour or ten-hour window sometimes as a, as a sleeper. Um, but your body wants routine, and it's very important that as a thrower, you have several routines. That's going to be a pre-game routine, a post-game routine, and obviously your off-day routines. And that's going, to that's going to include everything from your stretching to your meal plan to your strengthening to your running to your, to your throwing plan. So you have to make sure that um, as you're going through, you start to get your body into routine. If you have an established routine already, it's a good time for you to really start honing into a routine. And for the younger guys who haven't started your seasons yet, it's even more important to start working into a routine. Uh, before you get out into your season and then you're, you're kind of going through the day nonchalant, not really having a plan.